can even remove this and replant the same. It has a pump over there. You just have to switch this. This system, you, you only take seven days to produce feeds. The following day, ready for feeding. It's a, it's a continuous complete cycle. Thank you for visiting our stall here at Agri, Agritech uh, Exhibition. We are a, a fast rising startup, AgriPlant Kenya. Uh, we are doing climate smart agriculture and uh, focusing on hydroponic farming and uh, irrigation systems and even greenhouse solutions. Is this what we are calling hydroponics? Yes, this is one of the systems that we do at AgriPlant Kenya. You can see it's a vertical farm and it uses actually 80% less water. And you see we are embracing growing vertically so that we can maximize production, even by growing six times what you have, what you could have done by growing uh, just on the bare, bare, bare land. There's no weeding on this system, yeah, and uh, it actually uses very, very, very small amount of uh, nutrients. So it saves on space, saves on uh, inputs, and it's actually organic farm. What space do I need for me to set up such a technology? Yes, just a very small space. As you can see, this is barely uh, 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 one meter by uh, half a meter. And you see we are, we are doing about 60 crops. And you see, we, are, we still have space. We can go, uh, so from, from uh, uh, starting uh, one square foot, you can have a system and you can produce enough vegetables for even your family and even enough for uh, selling. What exactly have you used inside here that now you're telling me that I can't weed, I, 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 this is organic farming, this is one plant, Help me understand this. When you look at this, you can see this uh, the, the yogurt cup. So instead of throwing this, we are trying also to save on uh, you know environment uh, pollution. So we are reusing this. We are simply fabricating uh, this uh, yogurt cup, uh, separating the, the hair roots and the nutrient roots. And now instead of soil, we are using a hydroponic medium. This is one of it. We have several, but this is pumice. That's a lava rock. Why? Because it has uh, good water retention, it's porous, to allow water to come all the way from here up to the top. And so it's in that media so that it does not have any organic matter. That means you will not experience any weeds. Okay? And this one you can actually reuse it. You don't have to, to keep on buying. Eh? So at AgriPlant Kenya will supply everything to you. You can't intercrop of course, but you can crop rotate. So what do you crop rotate with? So it actually with the hydroponics one of the advantages you can do all types of crops on the same system so you don't have to worry about uh, that crop rotation but you can even remove this and replant the same because the media is in that we supply the nutrients through this bucket you are seeing here which is acting as our reservoir so there is no competition for nutrients you can actually harvest today that is after say six months because this is how you'll be harvesting eh? these vegetables okay. Yes, you don't have you don't have fruit, okay? It is the, 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 the indigenous vegetables. So you can even uproot and plant the same same today. In a normal day, we put uh, manure and fertilizer. So for for this one, the only way that nutrients get to it is by water. Yes, through water. So we have water soluble nutrients, which are already in ionic form, that we dissolve in water, and it circulates to the system immediately. So in this uh, simple system, we have done a variety of crops. Uh, as you know, right from the, here, we have uh, uh, black nightshade, alias managu, this is lettuce, and this is uh, the normal spinach, this is kales. So this one is baby spinach. It's a really good variety that is introduced to the Kenyan market, of course. And uh, you can do a variety. You can even, even do uh, spring onions. You can even do strawberries. So... With this setup you are giving me, because this is what I want to buy today, now, as we speak, this is what I want to go home with. How much money will, I cost, will it cost me for such a setup? Yes, we have different sizes of systems, uh, starting all the way from 5,000. And you realize this one, it's actually, actually automatic. Eh? You can see, uh, you don't feed man water manually. It has a pump over there, you just have to switch this. Oh. Yes, you just have to switch and you have your water with nutrients circulating. Okay. Yes, that's how simple it is. So it's very much affordable. As you can see, we're using locally available materials. So you don't have to worry about cost. So you need to pay for the water? You need to pay cabbage too. Is there another way of doing a vertical? Are there types? We have different types. We have tower gardens. We have uh, even uh, what you're seeing down there, you have a, a hydrocrete. 
which you can design vertically. So you have different kind of system depending on your size. So what we normally do is come and do a site survey and we design a better system for you and together with the available materials. So we design a suitable system that suits your space. There's something else you're doing over there. Please help us understand what this is. Yes. So over here, we also consider those farmers who are doing livestock. And this is one way of doing, uh, I mean, feeds, the livestock feeds, economically on a very, a very small space without using soil. So over here is what we call a hydroponic fodder system. And as you can see, we are using these seeds. These seeds are called barley seeds. We choose barley seeds because they are very high in protein. And this system, you, you only take seven days to produce feeds for your cows, the big animals. Four days for your chicken, the birds category, the poultry. And six days enough for pigs, goats, and the mid-sized animals. So what we do here, we are just simply sprouting these barley seeds in a controlled environment and introducing, uh, just unlocking the nutrient potential. And by doing that, you are reducing your cost of buying commercial feeds. It's actually ac acting as a supplement to the dry matter. So do I need a greenhouse for me to do that? No, 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 you don't need a greenhouse. What you need is just a simple sh uh, shed house made of a shed net. And actually at AgriPlant, what we do, we have made small units, like the one you are seeing here, it can feed around 30 to 50 chicken. And it's a full cycle, you see? From down there you have, you will start day one, day two, day three, and day four. Mm -hmm. So when you put your seeds over here, the next day you put, the next day, so the fourth day, these will be ready for feeding. The following day, ready for feeding. It's a, it's a continuous, complete cycle. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, if I have one cow, how many of these do I need? Yes, good question. One cow, you need seven trays. So we'll just add, because our system are portable, you can see you can just dismantle. You just add a section for three more trays and you are good to go for one cow. Is this an optional or is this what you want people to feed their cows? Yes, we are advocating for this and many farmers are really embracing this, especially for dairy, for those who are doing uh, commercial dairy and even uh, poultry farming, eh? uh, because they are reducing their inputs. Because it's very, when you do cost benefit analysis for this versus other commercial feeds, like dairy meal and, 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 and the rest, you are really sa you're actually saving up to 40%. Yes. And as a, as a farmer, what are you looking for? Optimizing. That is reducing the inputs and, you know, maximizing on the output. Okay. And even, actually, another advantage, for those who are doing broilers, you will see a, a, an increase in the, you know, the weight of your chicken uh, for layers, Zitataga mayai mengi, and uh, for milk production, it will increase, and even the butter content in the milk. Mm. So it has so much advantages, okay. actually. Amazing. Yeah. So if anybody want to either do this or come here for this, how, where can we get AgriPlant? How can they reach out to you? Yes, we are based here at uh, Nairobi. That's where our main offices are. But we can come at your service because agriculture is field work. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about location. We have done even projects outside the country. Mm -hmm. So you can reach us yeah. 0768 or on our social media handles AgriPlant Kenya Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and even at our website agriplantkenya.com. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate. Now, ladies and gentlemen, by the end of the day, when we talk about agricultural technology, we are really not talking about or oh, something. Eh, eh, mm -mm. When it comes to agriculture, we are looking at a better way of producing food to make sure that we are a food secure nation. Now, here is a technology, very easy to start. It needs very small space and definitely people are there to handle that for you. How about you reach out to AgriPlant Kenya and get this system at your backyard. Young people, it's time to make agriculture attractive and this is the only way to go about it. Or better, this is the one way to go about it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Arma, Agriculture Made Attractive. My name is Salimo Akilimo, the voice of agriculture, the queen of agri-tours.